Hi, I'm Emily and welcome to my channel. If you like what you find here, please hit like and subscribe and then you'll be notified whenever I post something new. Hi yogis and welcome to this intermediate yoga class. Intermediate because we will be exploring some poses like for example the super soldier pose, the humble flamingo and also there will be a little bound lizard in there for you if you feel like it. So if you know that you need often need a strap for a bind or that the floor often is far down, bring out two blocks and the strap and when you're done picking up your props let's start sitting back towards your heels close down your eyes and i want you to find a lotus mudra with your hands meaning that you bring your hands into this flower shape the heels of the hands together the pinky fingers meet and the thumbs meet. Extend your fingers up. Maybe you can just peek down towards your hands. The lotus represents the divinity within. It grows in the mud and muck of rivers and lakes and grows through the water to blossom at the surface. And the mud and muck represents our ego, our worldly struggles, our habits. And the water is our yoga practice. This is where we grow, this is our personal development. And that takes action and awareness. So for this class, I want you to create an intention of rooting down, rising through the water to blossom at the surface. Open your eyes and inhale, rise your lotus mudra up towards the ceiling, sit tall and exhale, place your right fingertips to the side of your right hip and lean over towards the right side, stretching over, finding length in your entire left side. Wide a little bit between your knees, and inhale, place your left fingertips behind you and circle your right arm forward. And as it circles forward, lift the hips, gaze up. Exhale, hips down, over to the side bend, over to the right. Inhale, circle the arm up, lift the hip, left fingertips behind. Exhale, side bend. Once more. Inhale, circle and lift. Make them bigger each time and exhale, side bend. Inhale brings you back to center, lotus mudra to the ceiling. Exhale, left fingertips down, side bend over to the left, gaze up and under your armpit. Inhale, left fingertip behind the hip, circle your right fingertip behind the hip, circle your left arm up. Inhale, exhale, all the way back, side stretch. Two more times, big circles. Lift the hip and open, work this into your shoulders and into your hips. Inhale, all the way up and exhale, side bend. Inhale, arms meet over your head. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Lean forward and come to all fours. I'm gonna travel a bit around the mat. so. If you feel like you want to have them at the same direction as me, go ahead and change that up. It might make it easier to see. It might not help you at all. So just feel and try whatever works for you. If you have them at the same lined up just like me, make sure that you're facing the same direction with me, as me. Come to all fours, tuck your toes and inhale, drop your belly down, lift the gaze, lift the chest and at the same time sit back towards your heels. Exhale, round forward, gaze towards the navel, to all fours. Inhale, arch and sit back. 
exhale round forward finding space along your spine inhale and exhale round once more back and round forward find a neutral spine inhale and sweep your right leg all the way back Make sure to turn your toes so they're, they're pointing down towards the mat. Lift your navel up, so don't arch down. Really keep the core engaged. Inhale, drop your right toes to the mat. Exhale, bring them back up. Drop them down, inhale, exhale. Your entire backside of your right leg and glute are active. Drop it down and bring it up. Once more down and up. Kickstand your left foot out to the left side. Sweep your right arm up, flex your right foot into a modified side plank out towards the right side. From here, just bend into your right leg. So heel comes to glute, exhale it straight back out. Bend the leg and straighten it. Once more, in and straighten. Next time it comes in, allow your right hand to grab the ankle. Maybe press your foot into the hand. Open the front side, open the chest a little bit. Press your hips forward. And inhale, release. Right arm sweeps up. Extend your right leg. And then bring your right leg forward, forward. Keep going. And as it comes forward, turn your, uh, your left foot back. Your right foot lands in front of you. Half Hanuman position. Turn your right toes to the ceiling. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Next, inhale, bend into your right knee. Sweep your arms up. Find your lotus mudra again. Lift the chest, stay, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Arms forward, straighten your right leg, toes to the ceiling. Inhale. Back up, Anjani Asana, with your Lotus Mudra, if you feel like it. Exhale, fold, palms down. Once more up. And exhale. Last one, into Anjana. Lift. And exhale, fold. Fingertips framing the front leg. Start, untuck your back toes and start to sit back towards your back heel into a half hero pose. This might be intense, already here. The left foot is back. The left hand plants behind the left foot. Circle your right arm forward and up, and as it comes up, lift the hip, open the chest to the ceiling. Exhale, sit back down, and circle your left arm over towards your right foot. Circle it back up, inhale, and lift and open. Exhale, all the way. Once more, circle up and lift, exhale, all the way, fold, stay, find some extension here into your right hamstring, and come back to your neutral spine, plant the palms, step back into an all fours, tuck the toes, inhale, sit back towards your heels, and exhale, round forward. Two more times with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Come to neutral spine. Keep your toes tucked. Engage the core before you. With an inhale, extend your left leg back. Turn your toes down. Inhale, drop the toes. Exhale, bring them back up. Engage that left glute down. Lift it back up. Two more times. Down, exhale, bring it up. Last one, down, and bring it up. Kickstand the right foot to the right. Extend your left arm to the ceiling. Lift your left leg, flex the foot, stay, and then bend the left leg, heel to glute. Extend it back out. Three more times, bend, and straighten. Nice, bend, straighten. Last time, bend, straighten, and one more bend so that you can grab the ankle, press your foot, your ankle into your hand, press your chest forward, nice, 
and release. Left arm to the ceiling, extend the left leg back, flex the toes, bring the foot out to the side, to the side, keep it lifted, turn the right foot back, Woo. and then land in a half Hanuman position, lift halfway, inhale, exhale to fold, pull the left heel in towards your left knee, bend into your left knee, inhale, arms up, Anjaneyasana, Lotus Mudra, Exhale, straighten the left foot, left leg and fold. Inhale, lift the chest open. Exhale, straighten and fold. Two more times. Inhale, open the chest to the ceiling each time. Exhale. Once more, all the way up. Exhale, fold. Untuck the back toes, fingertips down, sit back, all the way back. So that you can see your entire right foot behind you or next to your hip. Same hand as the leg that is bent, meaning the right one. Place it behind you, circle the left arm up, bring the hip with you, inhale. Exhale, sit down and circle your left arm over. We're doing the circling with the arms just to bring in a lot of movement and activity into your shoulder joint because it is a joint that often needs a lot of attention. We're gonna go up once more. Inhale, lift open at the top. Exhale to fold and stay. Work it into your left hamstring this time. Shake it out. And come to a neutral spine. Climb forward all the way into all fours, take one inhale and exhale in to your first downward facing dog. So bend one knee at the time, sway the hips from side to side, do any movements that you like to do to warm up, to feel into your body. Be mindful and aware where you hold tension of how you can rub up against that tension with your breath and with movement. Lift your navel up towards the spine. Inhale, come to your toes, gaze forward. You're gonna take a couple of hops. So get ready. Maybe take some small mini hops or take some bigger hops, kicking your heels to your glutes. Do whatever you feel like. Maybe stick into a little handstand whatever is in your practice today. And then eventually lower down at the top of the mat. Find your feet hip width apart. Shake out your butt. Bring your peace fingers to grab hold of your big toe. So stick your peace fingers between your big and second toe. Grab hold, bend your knees. Allow the entire upper body to get contact with, with the, the thighs. Inhale. Lift halfway, exhale to fold, elbows come out to the side, start to straighten the legs. Yogi toe lock with your hands. Release your yogi toe lock, you inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, all the way into your right foot, bring your left knee into the chest. Straighten your left leg out and bend into your right knee. So almost like you're sitting down into chair pose, but your left leg is extended, not straight out, but like in line, you can have the knees almost in line. Do a couple of passe pulsations here, down and up. And this is where you can, might bring your blocks. So if you need your blocks, this is where they go. We're gonna start to sit down into the pistol squat. Chest goes forward, butt goes back, lower, lower, lower. We're gonna go do, not gonna sit all the way down, but you can land on your blocks. You can land with your fingertips to the mat, but the butt is lifted. And inhale, press down through your right heel, sweep your left leg through into a supported warrior three. Inhale, exhale, step your left foot that back, plant your palms, sweep your right leg all the way up and back, three legged down, one facing down. Inhale, open the hip, and exhale, stay. One more inhale, 
Exhale, cross your right knee towards your left elbow, all the way under. Inhale, all the way up and back. Lift the knee, open the hip, exhale, cross it under. Once more, in. And exhale, cross it under and stay. Extend your right leg to the left. Turn your left toes to the corner of the mat. Foot can be down. Sink your butt to your heel. Left elbow towards your left knee. And inhale, straighten your left leg. Extend your left arm overhead. Sink back down, butt to heel. And press it back up, inhale. Two more times, down. Press it up. Once more, down. And extend, press it up. And place both palms down. Hug your right knee to chest. Flip it over, left heel to the left. Right foot lands behind. Wild thing with an inhale. Exhale, sink the hips. Almost all the way down. Right hand reaches for your left foot. Inhale to open, wild thing. Exhale. Once more up. And all the way down. Last one, into wild thing. Press down through your left hand, your left foot. And with the exhale, this time, sit all the way down, facing the back of the mat. Come back in if you were outside of the mat. Bring the sole of your right foot down to the mat. Right shoulder on the inside of your right knee. Lift your chest forward, arms forward, palms away from the body. Make like a big swim stroke all the way around. And this is where you can use the strap if it's far away for your hands to meet. Take an inhale. Once again, lift the sternum forward and start to fold. Nice. And release wherever you are. Set the strap aside. Fingertips in line with your knees. Shift the weight forward so that you can lift the butt up, spike down through your right heel and sweep your left leg into that supported warrior three position. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose, round in. Once more, inhale, supported warrior three. Exhale, drop the left foot to the back. Step the right one forward. Windmill the arms up, warrior two. Sink the hips. Next, inhale. Both arms up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, sink it back down. Two more times, inhale, exhale. Last one, in, exhale. Next time you come to center, turn all of your toes to the side of the mat. Heels in, toes up. Find the lotus mudra over your head. Exhale, bend your knees. The lotus mudra comes in front of your chest. Goddess pose. Sink deep. Wiggle a little bit from side to side. Into your hips, into your legs. Inhale, straighten and release the mudra. Throw parallel the feet. Fold from your hip all the way down. Bring both hands to your left foot. Straighten and shake out. Maybe massaging your left hamstring a little bit. And come to center, sway from side to side. Bring your hands to the right foot. Give it the same treatment as you gave the left one. And from here, we're going to go for the super soldier pose. So heel to your feet in slightly. It's going to be like not your super wide legged forward fold, but your feet are going to be wider than your hips. We're going to go for the right side first. So your right arm is going to come underneath your right leg. The left hand comes in front of the left foot. This is your kickstand hand, the left one. Bring the weight into your right foot, come to your left toes, and maybe you can lift the left heel to the glute. If you can find, if you can lift the heel to the glute, see if you can find your left toes with your right hand. It's easier with the toes because you can like turn around with the toes. If you grab the ankle, it's going to be a lot harder. So grab around the toes. And from here, start to lift your left knee to the ceiling and maybe straighten into your right leg, maybe gazing up. And 
and slowly release. Bring your left foot down, fold into center, and then turn all of your toes to the top of the mat, setting it up for pyramid pose. So right foot is in a 45 degrees. Also, the block can come in handy. Lift halfway, inhale, exhale, fold. If you want to go for the little humble flamingo variation, bring your fingertips so they point back towards the back of the mat. Extend your arms so arms are straight and lean into your butt slightly. And as you lean into your butt, after you start to press the mat away through your fingertips and maybe lift your right heel to the glute. Step your right foot far back. Place your hands on the inside of your left foot for lizard lunge. Wiggle it out, side to side. Gaze and see that you have your strap handy because if you want to take the bind, you might need a strap, who knows. When you have created some space in lizard lunge, snuggle your left shoulder underneath your left leg. Internally rotate the left shoulder, palm is facing up, and then place your palm onto your lower back. Find some balance here, stability down through your left foot, come to your right fingertips, release the right hand, maybe you can grab, find your left hand, or use the strap just as a way of reaching. Press firmly out through your right heel, Parallel your chest down towards the mat. And by all means, if you want to fly here, plant the palms, hook your left leg around your left arm, lean forward, and maybe lift your right leg up for the flying lizard. And come all the way down. Come out of it. Place your fingertips tip slightly in front of your left foot. Spring forward, lift halfway in, and exhale into a standing split. Finding some length in your, the back of your le left leg right now. Gonna step it back to high plank, either through some handstand hops or just step it back. If you want to handstand hop, kick up, Take a few kick-ups, maybe stay. And when you feel ready, you can lower down however you please into your chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Inhale, come to your toes, gaze forward. Jump, step, or fly to the top of the mat. Land hip width. This time, step your feet on top of your hands. Your palms are facing up. Your toes all the way in to the crease of your wrist. Shake it out. Drop the crown of the head down. Lean into your, your toes. Almost pressing down through your toes. Lift your navel up. Use the lower core to draw your upper body just a tiny bit closer down towards your thighs. Release your hands. Inhale, arms sweep up. This time weight is into your left foot and your right knee comes to the chest. Extend your right legs, like not straight forward, but like <laughs> slightly forward. And sink down into your left hip. Press it back up. Sink it down and press it up. Get ready with your blocks now because we're gonna do the pistol squat all the way down. Fingertips come down, butt is lifted, spike through your left heel. Supported warrior three, inhale, exhale, round in knee to nose. Inhale, all the way back. Plant your right foot down, plant the palm, sweep your left leg up and back, inhale, bend the knee, open the hip, exhale. Inhale, lift the knee, really find an opening of your hip, 
exhale, cross your left knee towards your right elbow. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, cross it under. Two more times, inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, cross it on, then get ready to stay. Bring the pinky toe edge of the foot down. Bring your right toes to point to the corner of the mat. Knee points up. Hips to heel, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten the right leg, right arm up and over. Exhale, and inhale, open. Sink down, and inhale. Once more, down. And inhale all the way up, plant your palms, hug your left knee to the chest, flip it all the way over, wild thing, open the chest, drop the head, inhale, exhale, sink your hips, left hand reaches for your right foot, inhale, open, exhale, sink it down, two more times, inhale, lift, and exhale down. Last one, all the way up. And this time, sit all the way down, come back to the mat. Left foot is on the mat, left shoulder is on the inside of your left knee. Sternum reaches forward, arms forward, swim stroke it all the way around to the pose dedicated to the sage. Inhale and exhale, fold. Beautiful. Release. Fingertips in line with your right knee. Come to the left foot. So lift the butt up and press down through the heel to circle the right leg all the way around. Modified warrior three. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Round the spine. Once more, inhale, extend the leg back. Exhale, drop the foot to the back. Set it up for warrior two. So big step, maybe you need to step the front foot forward, exhale, sink deep. Great work, inhale, straighten the front leg and arms come up, exhale, sink down. Inhale, exhale. Two more times, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, stay, turn the toes to the side of the mat, heels in, toes out. Padma Mudra, the Lotus Mudra, above your head. Exhale, sink into Goddess Pose. Close down your eyes. Wiggle your hips. Keep pressing your knees out to the pinky toe edge of your feet. Inhale, straighten both legs. Parallel your feet and fold from your hip all the way down. This time, heel toe the feet together just slightly. I'm going to go for the Super Soldier on the left side. So left. Shoulder and arm snuggles under your left leg. Right hand is your kickstand, all the weight into your left foot. Right heel to glute, left hand grabs your right toes and start to lift your right knee up towards the ceiling and possibly straightening through your right leg, your left leg, sorry. Possibly gazing up, maybe falling. That would also work. And so gently release. Nice. And turn all of your toes to the top of the mat. So right foot is in front. You really need to focus on what is the top and back of the mat here, right? The back foot is in 45 degrees. Your blocks are underneath your hand. If that is what feels good for you in your pyramid pose, take an inhale and lift halfway. Exhale, fold. If you went for the humble flamingo on the other side, maybe do that here too. So fingertips back towards the back of the mat. Bend it slightly into your back knee so your butt can sink to the back. And from here, press through your fingertips and lift your left heel to the glute. And step your left foot far back. Both hands on the inside of your right foot. Lizard lunge. So wiggle a few times here before you go into the bind where the right arm snuggles under your right leg. 
Internally rotate the arm, palm is facing up. Bring the palm to your lower back. Find your stability through your feet and come to your left fingertips. Left arm comes behind. Use the, back, use the strap if you need to. Sink your chest down. If you took flight on the other side, do that here too. Hook your right leg around your right arm. Lift your back leg. Maybe bent, maybe straight. And when you feel ready, release. Fingertips slightly in front of your right foot. Spring to the top. Lift halfway. Exhale, standing split. Use the standing split either to just stay here and work the flexibility in your hamstring and the strength of your left glute. Or again, take some handstand hops or press up. Whatever is in your practice, you can do a couple of hops. Play with it, maybe stick. If you lower down from handstand to chaturanga, make sure to bend your elbows and keep them sliding along your body. You can lower one leg first and then start to lower, chest goes forward and down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, come to your toes, gaze towards the navel, round forward and roll into high plank. Exhale, glide it back, bend the knees, gaze forward, exhale. Two more times. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale to glide it back. Once more forward. And this time drop the knees down. Bring your feet out in front of you. Come to a seated position, Dandasana. So legs are extended. Your sit bones are in contact with the mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Nice work. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, roll all the way down. Bring your right leg over your left. Grab hold of your feet from above. So you're like grabbing the top of the foot round over the pinky toe edge. And then softly bring your knees further up towards your shoulders and further out to the side. And release, shake it out, shift the legs, left leg on top, still grabbing from above over the pinky toe edge and just gently squeeze them closer. Find the release of tension in the hips. in towards your chest, give them a nice squeeze. And extend your legs out alongside the mat. Maybe you have a lot of props lying around. Move them aside. Allow your arms to rest alongside your body. Your palms can be facing up or down. Close down your eyes. Take a couple of nice deep breaths, maybe sighing the mouth through the mouth to release any tension that is still residing in your body. Soften between your eyebrows, soften behind your eyes and find a little space between your upper and lower row of teeth. Thank you so much for spending your time with me on the mat today. 
I hope to see you soon again. Namaste.